By the end of this video, you're going to learn how to edit and upload your videos more quickly. Hey everyone, it's JJ from Pomora here to empower your inner video creator. And in this video, I'm going to show you the time-saving features that we've added in Filmora 9.3, as well as some ways that you can optimize your editing process. And while you're here, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't downloaded the latest version 9.3, you can go ahead and click the link up here or in the description box below. And now here are five time-saving tips for video creators. Let's go! This first one is a new feature in version 9.3, 3D LUT layers. We've had LUTs for a while, which you can access to the color tab of the editing menu in Filmora 9. Now you can find those same LUTs in the effects menu and drag them to the timeline like filters. Instead of applying a LUT to each clip individually, you can drag it into the top layer of your video and stretch it all over your clips. A lot of your editing time can be eaten up by applying the same changes over and over again on multiple clips in your timeline. Now instead of individually color correcting every clip or reapplying the same effects, you can right click on the clip you've already worked on and choose copy effect. You'll then be able to paste your settings to other clips which can save a huge amount of time. If you open the help menu in Filmora 9 and click on keyboard shortcuts, you'll be taken to the page where you can learn all of Filmora 9's hotkeys. So learning about these hotkeys may take some time, but once you get the hang of them, you'll save a ton of time while you're editing. There are a lot of things that could interfere with the strength of your Wi-Fi, like other devices using the internet on your network. If you can, try to make sure that uploading your video to YouTube is the only thing happening on your Wi-Fi network. It'll go faster because it won't be competing with anything else that's on your network. Alternatively, you can use an ethernet cable and upload your video through that wired connection. This will generally be faster than relying on a Wi-Fi connection. Chances are you're repeating a lot of the same things in your video descriptions, like your social media accounts, for example. If you have a distinct niche for your video, like gaming or beauty, you're also probably using the same tags. Instead of typing these things fresh for each video, you can set the default so they can automatically apply for each video. Go to the YouTube studio and choose settings. A window will pop up where you can click upload defaults and enter in titles, tags, and descriptions you want to apply to every new upload. You'll still be able to edit these when you upload new videos, but you'll save some time building off from defaults than starting from scratch. And there you go, five time-saving tips. Do you guys have your own time-saving tips? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys next time. Keep creating.